Hello, my YouTube friends. In today's video, I will show you how we build our patio and a retaining wall. In this drone video, the patio and the wall are already built, along with the Roman garden and the bonsai garden. This is how it all started. Our flood is not a flood one. We have a lot of slopes and the bigger slope was there where our patio is located now. First, we cut the slope and removed a lot of dirt to create a flat space for our future patio. We also needed to erect a retaining wall to hold this huge mass of dirt. Since the wall was going to be six feet tall, we need to hire a certified engineer to draw plans and apply for a permit for the retaining wall. It was approved by the county that we needed to dig a huge ditch for the wall foundation, two, three feet deep and five, six feet wide. Of course, our team and their machinery took care of this task. When the ditch was ready, the team installed a lot of metal rods to create this lattice. A few drainage pipes were installed as well. The real fun started when this huge concrete pump machine arrived and started pouring concrete to form a foundation for the retaining wall. Foundation came out perfect. More metal rods are installed to hold the wall stones. The tractor is moving the rest of the dirt and a few stones and blocks have been already placed. More stones for the retaining wall and more dirt to be moved. It was very rainy during these days, but the work continued. Next stage was to create a patio. Another crew came and started preparing the foundation for the pavers. Our patio has a very large area, so it was a job for a whole week. Pavers look great, but we still need to finish the wall. More work, and this is how the wall looked when it was almost finished. The slope on the top of the wall is ready for more plants and in these days this slope hosts our Roman garden. This is how our patio looks these days and we have a lot of material stacked on patio and some dirt on the pavers because we are preparing to start building our outdoor kitchen and the fountains uh, in this small pond over the central column, the gray column. So please stay tuned and I will see you in my next videos. Thank you for watching.